Uh, Mr. Bishop of North Carolina. Chief Ortiz, um, I think you came in here to tell the truth today, sit down and offer some candor to this congressional committee. And I want to start off by telling you that that is a breath of fresh air, and it is inconsistent with what I've heard over and over from administration officials so far. Um, you have candidly acknowledged in responses to questions already that we do not have operational control of the border. You've effectively acknowledged that the border is not secure in, on much of the southwestern border. Um, I think you might be trying to walk a fine line because you, want to be, you don't want to be insubordinate to, to your superiors, but, you, but if there's ever been a time for candor to a congressional committee, it is right now. And I'm going to ask you about the cause. Uh, you've continued to, uh, your, your written testimony, I'm sure that's substantially prepared or revised in Washington, starts off, evolving global and regional events continue to produce challenging conditions and trends along the southwestern border. Uh, you've, uh, you, it, you, so you, you try, trace the beginning of the, of the fantastic climb in, in uh, illegal immigration acro it, across the border uh, to, uh, to COVID. I heard you say earlier today, changing conditions. Um, Chief, in fiscal year 2020, the policy was detain and remove. The entire objective was to avoid releasing any illegal immigrant for any reason. In 2021, Secretary Mayorkas, the new administration, gutted all of those policies. MPP, safe third countries, family detention, asylum bars, T-42 for minors, etc. Record numbers resulted. Record numbers followed, let me say that, because I'm going to ask you whether it was result or cause. Be it parole, NTA, NTR, et cetera, illegals are apprehended by Border Patrol but allowed to remain non-detained in the U.S. Now, I want some candor, Chief. Do you acknowledge as the Chief of the Border Patrol that the driver of the crisis that you have described of this dramatic change in flow the policy is the policy of this administration to release instead of detain or remove illegal immigrants. That's my question. Congressman Bishop, thank you for the question. I will tell you that law enforcement is pretty simple, sir. You have to have capacity and you have to have consequences. And anytime you don't have consequences, you're certainly going to see some increases. And uh, we continue to try and repatriate individuals back to countries that we can repatriate. But it's been a challenge for us because what we saw this past year were individuals from Cuba, individuals from Haiti, individuals from Nicaragua, where we have a difficult time repatriating. It's not my responsibility. I work closely with my ICE partners to make sure that we're able to expel or, you know, return individuals back to their host countries, but it has been a significant challenge for us. And I do think that has been a driver of some of the increases that we have seen. So you've attenuated that a little bit, Chief. I appreciate again, I think you've been candid in that answer, but you've attenuated it. It's a driver of some of the increases. Sir, we're all familiar with this chart. I mean, we see it in our sleep, right? I came into Congress down here in fiscal year 2020. And, and, and I visited as soon as I came down. I came down to the border then, and I saw the empty port of entry station where nobody was in there flooded. You'd seen the films for back in May. And here's where we are now, sir. That was December, worst uh, in history, and we've been up in that territory for years. And there's always been a billion people live on less than a dollar a day, P poor, as, as Chairman Green said. The cause is the change in policy, is it not, sir? Will you be candid enough to be unequivocal and clear that that has driven the change? I will tell you, sir, that when I was a deputy chief and the acting chief down here in 2014, you know, a lot of people described what was happening here in South Texas as a humanitarian crisis, a border crisis. And I was very candid and I said that I think we have a bit of a policy crisis. And I still hold true that we have some policies in place where we need to ensure that the men and women out there patrolling the border, investigating these criminal cartels, are actually allowed to do their job each and every day. And their job is to detain or remove uh, illegal immigrants? Yes, sir. And you've talked about... And your pride, look, I want to say this, your pride in, in the men and women you lead, and, and, and I, I know what the circumstances is that compels you to come in here and, and show this level of candor to this congressional committee, and that's the men and women that you're serving, because they're under stress like they've never seen. 
And it is, it is an abomination, it is despicable that people in Washington would set policy that would cause that to those men and women, and that would cause the inhumane destruction of lives that you see to migrants who are coming over in these conditions, and that would cause the devastation that's spreading throughout the United States in consequence of that. I want to thank you for telling the, the Congress what your duty compels you to tell us, which is the truth. Thank you, Chief Ortiz. Gentleman yields, I